Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-January 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Skills Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong aspect or placement for the sign of Capricorn. This will not resonate with every Capricorn that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Capricorn, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Capricorn cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and get this reading started by clearing and setting the energy using my sample as always. Um, if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So, let's get this going. So let's go ahead and see what's happening for my Capricorns and anyone involved with the Capricorn mid to end January. I will be picking up on the energy that's in or around your energetic field. If someone has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time, whether you are single or taken, whether you're together or apart, let's see who's coming through and why and what will be happening. So tell me about this for my Capricorns mid to end January. What's happening for my Capricorns? Okay, so interesting. We have worth waiting for and free yourself. Two very conflicting energies. And I wonder right now, Capricorn, if you're in complete conflict with someone you've been dealing with for what it seems like a while with this card here. You feel like you've been trying to be patient, you've been trying to wait it out. They always give you these promises or these like feelings that maybe it's worth waiting for. But then again, it's been the same shit for too long. And you find yourself going in circles with someone that it doesn't really change. So it's like a lot of you are really in conflict with yourselves. Or maybe this person's in conflict with you if the roles could be reversed, right? About what to do with this. Is this going to change? Is this going to happen? Should I wait for this? Should I just move on? And I feel this like frustration coming from someone. And I feel that like even recently someone flaked out on you and even like it's Capricorn season. So happy birthday to my Capricorns. But like even someone flaked on birthday plans or, you know, didn't text you for your birthday and then had some lame ass excuses to why they didn't do that. So, very interesting. It says divine timing is at work in your love life, and it's time to, for you to take control back of your life. So, what this is kind of telling me, Capricorn, is that maybe someone is trying to figure their own crap out. Someone's just, you know, in a tough place, isn't very healed, isn't at the same frequency you're at. So, maybe there has to be certain things that work out in their background, what they need to heal. But that doesn't mean you have to wait on bated breath for someone to come around. I think Capricorn, if it's meant to be, it shall be no matter what. And if this person is going to work on it, fight for it, do it, then, you know, say la vie, right? But if they don't show you those actions, if they don't take those steps or have any motive to change, I think you need to take some power back for yourself. Make some boundaries, you know, don't take their crap anymore. Tell them what you need to tell them so they know how you're feeling, where you're coming from. Because I even feel for some of you, you've been holding back everything you've wanted to say to them. And maybe they're sensing Capricorn, you're pulling away and they're getting afraid because they don't want you to leave their life. They don't want to end this with you, but they really need to figure their stuff out if they do want to keep you around. I just saw an S, but then I saw two S's. 
So there could be an S or two S's in someone's name, first, middle, last, initial. Let's go ahead and get into this. So let's see. With this spread, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? Not what they don't like about it? What are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you? Who? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, makes sense. Yeah, ooh. You're giving them the cold shoulder right now. I can sense it. I see it. And they're picking up on it. They know this time around they did something truly that made you mad, made you upset. Um, and you've been putting them on timeout or even you have left them on red. Um, and they're trying to scramble and figuring out how they can salvage this, how they can still make it up to you in some way. Bottom of the deck, three of wands, Aries energy. So, you know, I kind of get that maybe you met this person while you were traveling or um, you two don't come from like the same, you know, parts of the world, maybe different parts of your country. Um, I feel like someone has an accent specifically that they really like about the other person. But things were going so well, right, with the three of wands in the past like I think that you guys started to really see that this could maybe go somewhere until they messed it all up again I'm even hearing for some of you um you know I'm seeing this like huge window at someone's um bedroom that maybe you know someone forgot to close one time when you guys were being intimate or maybe like a huge mirror above or in front of someone's bed that someone likes to see while you guys are hooking up not for everyone but yeah i think with this three of wands like there's this is why it's making it all so difficult because there have been good experiences there have been times when you guys maybe traveled together or went on certain dates and you had a blast um especially a certain vacation you guys went on even if it was just like a weekend trip or something more than that that someone thinks about a lot but has the good times outweighed everything that has happened up until this point? Or especially whatever they did recently to really get you upset or angry? Um, I think, you know, also with this being the background energy, you know, especially if this has been a cycle of an on and again, off again thing, you guys recently linked back up. Recently linked back up, maybe um, from November to January, you started talking again. And then now it's at this place where you're like, okay, should I just end this? <laughs> should this just be at an end? Because now you're starting to see a pattern here that you're not liking, right? Someone left a hickey on you before you've left a hickey on their neck, a big one. But let's keep going. So how they feel about you is the Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with another Earth sign perhaps. But yeah, now they're feeling like they have to make up for this, especially because they want to keep you around. They feel like you have been like something in their life that has been so solid. Despite the inconsistency, you've always been there, you know, and when they have needed you, you were there. I feel that a lot of you, they're starting to realize that they're going to have to do something big in order to keep you around. Maybe finally ask for that commitment. Maybe finally, you know, give you a birthday present to make up for what they didn't do. Um, but this feels like they have to make some major moves here if they want to keep you around in their life. That is going to be solid. That is going to be evident. That is going to be shown to you without a doubt that they do care. They feel like they have to salvage this in some way. That's what this Ace of Pentacles feels like. But what they think about you, about this connection, is the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. They see that they've kind of drained you. They've seen that, you know, they... They disappointed you. I think they definitely get that. And I think with this, like, they're really trying to hold out to make you believe that this can work again, try to convince you that, you know, I messed up, I get it, but this time around it'll be different. I'll push through it, I'll do what I have to do, even if it's hard work, even if it's going to take time to prove it, I will. 
Um, I think someone's a little insecure too if they gain weight over the holidays, even if the person doesn't notice it. Um, they're kind of feeling some type of way about that, wondering how you feel about it. But it's not for everyone, right? But I think with this Ten of Wands, like, maybe they've been putting off asking you for this commitment because they feel like, you know, being in a relationship is a lot of work that they don't know if they're ready for, that they could have given to you. Um, this person, I feel, just doesn't like to take risks as far as love and romance goes. Maybe they do out in the club, maybe they do out with their friends, but when it comes to like taking that leap of faith of asking to be in a relationship, that's something they just don't like to do because then they feel like all the burdens that come with being in a relationship. So maybe that's like the inconsistency here and you've been waiting for this person to come around, be open to the idea, but they're still, I don't know, I don't know what they think they can do to make this right, but they know it's going to take a lot of work. They know it's going to take a lot of, um, they're going to have to prove it to you for sure. And I think your friends have some sort of opinion about them that's not very positive or family members. Like, oh, they're around again. You guys are back together. Here we go again. That type of energy. But then I feel on their end, like their mom really likes you. I don't know why I'm picking up on that or their parents do. And maybe they've been pressuring them to do have something with you. Like, when are you going to ask Capricorn out? When are you going to propose to Capricorn? When are you going to make this solid? Like, it's very opposite on whatever role you associate it with, right? But maybe they're starting to realize because you've been so loyal, so down with them, maybe it is worth the work. What they like about you is Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Uh, yeah, Capricorn, I mean, you like to have fun. You like to go out. You like to meet new people. You like to, you know, not stay somewhere for too long. Um, you know, you could be fine at home, but not forever. <laughs> and you like to, you know, go to your favorite restaurant to have a meal every once and again, to go to the movies with your friends. Like, you definitely like to keep busy with your life. And that's because you want to experience it all. Maybe you're at an age where you're like, damn, now's the time to just go all out there. And I get some parts of the world we are in quarantine, um, but you know, when we're not in a pandemic, this is who you are. Someone who is a lot of fun to be around, someone who is kind of like the life of the party, who cracks a lot of, you're hilarious, this person thinks. You make a lot of other people laugh as well. Um, and you're just a joy to be around. You could be a fast driver or an impatient driver. Like, I'm kind of feeling like road rage-ish here for some of you. Um, but they also find you to be passionate. Like, when you're mad, they kind of think it's cute how you get worked up. I don't know why, but they do. And just like with every emotion you have, you have it with all your heart and you'll express it. Your opinions will be known. Maybe with this person, you've been holding it back a little bit, but they've seen you when you got feisty. They've seen it when you've gotten, you know, competitive too. I don't know if like in certain games they played with you, board games, um, drinking games, uh, you know, bowling or whatever, right? Like you definitely have a competitive side that they find very sexy as well. But what they don't like about you is Six of Swords, that they feel you're pulling away mentally you're kind of starting to reflect on seeing if it is better to just move along and move forward just to regather myself take a mental break from this person recharge recuperate maybe see what's up with other options if the grass is greener on the other side should i move towards there um others of you with six of swords and what they don't like about you you guys could be a few hours away from each other or you have to go through heavy traffic in order to see each other like that one highway that you know if it's from like three to six it's going to be really annoying to drive through and that's the only way to get to one another so you could be at a small distance from each other or it's you know even if you're in like a big city it takes forever to get to the other side right but yeah you, i think for most of you if that's not the case it's like moving forward and moving along making that trying to 
be open to the idea that maybe this person isn't it. Maybe I should free myself. God, it's so conflicting. I see it going on within you. You don't want to. A part of you doesn't want to. Another part of you is like, well, why are you waiting? You know, and I get it. Um, it's all very, like, you're really hoping that by the end of this month or soon, they'll show you something that's worthwhile to stay in. For some reason, I just saw, like, black leather. I don't know if someone has, like, a black leather jacket, black leather pants, shorts, maybe, like, a black leather couch um, or black leather interior of the car. Maybe you guys have hooked up in a car before. I don't know. But uh, anyway, what they like the most about you is the Empress. Taurus energy, Libra energy. So for some of you, you are the parent of their child. You've been a good parent. Um, they always know they can rely on you for parental things. Or maybe even if they do have children, you don't. You're really good with kids. I'm kind of picking up on. Or you may work with kids as your job, right? But for most of you, this empress energy, you're very physically attractive. You are their type to the T, you know, of what they would imagine their type being. There you are. Um, someone could be into makeup, into hair, cosmetology, that type of thing. Uh, but you don't settle for less. And I think they do see that with you. And I think they have been pushing you a little bit. And they're recognizing that, you know, with this Empress energy, you're not going to settle for long. And I'm not saying settle in the negative way, but you've been too patient with this person. And you've been hoping for that manifestation. You've been hoping for that harvest, which they've been getting from you, but it hasn't been the same in return. Someone's wearing red right now. Someone's favorite color is red. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like, you provide them with the stability. Like, their base chakra is pretty stable when they're around you. They know you're not the type to cheat. You, they know you're not the type to run around on them. That when you're in it, you're all in it. But it's starting to exhaust you, right? Because you're still not getting that harvest. But they definitely brag about you. They show your pictures to their friends. And they say, look who I have. Look how hot Capricorn is. But still, like... I think a lot of you, a piece of you really does hope for this all to turn out, for you to have this happy ending, but the waiting is getting tiresome, and the Empress doesn't wait for too long. Yes, the Empress is always sitting, right? But because there's abundance all around, there's prosperity all around that's worth sitting and waiting for. And maybe even there's been like little flashes of when you see this person who's done something very romantic for you like Valentine's Day last year, I don't know why, but this could just be a, an example, like rose petals on the bed, lighting candles, um, making your favorite meal, taking you to your favorite restaurant. Like they have had those moments when they've been very romantic, but it's always like not that lasting. So this is why you're so conflicted and I can see that for a lot of you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Um. I'm also seeing like a massage. Maybe someone's a masseuse or like you give each other massages before. Um, but what they don't like about the connection with you right now is the Eight of Cups. So Pisces energy. Yeah, again, like whether this has already happened or just energetically, you've emotionally been withdrawing from this person. And I think that's your way of letting them know that you're putting a boundary until they do more. And I think like when you were always the first to answer their calls, uh, you're not doing that anymore. And I'm even seeing like multiple missed calls from a certain person. And you're like, nope, not going to do it. I'm going to give myself a day or two, wait it out. Um, but yeah, I think you guys are just emotionally a bit pulling away from this. And maybe some of you are kind of wondering if someone else around you that you kind of had a crush on but didn't fully pursue because you were doing something with this person, you know, has been a little bit on your mind lately. But yeah, I think that they are sensing you're mad. They're sensing you're upset. They're sensing if you're 
going through this decision if you should reach out or if you should even try or if you should just leave it where it is and keep moving forward which is something they don't like so they need to pick up the pace they need to do something because i think you guys are that close to fully deciding that you're over it you're done you did all that you could now on to the next i feel this tingling in my ankle i don't know why um someone could have like an ankle tattoo um or nice ankles i don't know why that was tingling for me right there maybe they like to grab on your ankles i don't know some position you do um anyway yeah just starting to fall out of this so highest hopes of this situation is the four of swords libra energy that right now you know you're giving each other space I think they, even though they want to reach out to you, they want to make this work, they sense that you just need your time right now, especially with whatever happened that made you upset, that really made you start to think this may not work out. I think although they feel really lonely, they do miss you, that this is all just going to be temporary, that you're going to call them, you're going to text them, letting them know, look, like, yeah, that sucked, but whatever, I'm over it, what are you up to, let's hang out. Maybe that's how it always kind of like started to recycle with you guys is that you never really talked about the things that, you know, made you guys kind of annoyed with each other or upset with each other, but then you'd start off as if nothing ever happened. But that's not really going to fly anymore, and I think that's the cycle spirit saying to pay attention to. I think the only way this could really be solved is through communication. Communication of someone's needs. Communication of someone's expectations but yeah capricorn they're really missing you if they you if you haven't talked for a few days a few weeks they've really been thinking about you but thinking for right now this has to be a little bit separate but when they're ready i'll show them that i'm worth waiting for that i've changed whatever right um deepest fears Three of Swords, Libra energy again, that they'd be heartbroken that you wouldn't want to give this another go. They would really beat themselves up for messing this up with you, Capricorn, that they would feel like I did this and now I can't fix it. Now I can't convince Capricorn that we do have something special that I've been trying to change because they won't even reply to me. They won't even answer my calls. They blocked me. That's their fear, is that they won't be able to express all their regrets or all their ideas of how they can make this work or what they want to do to make this work with you because you wouldn't give them a chance. And that they would be forever in this period of waiting for you to come back, hoping you'll come back, and then not really ever doing it, which would break their heart. They're afraid to get their heart broken by you. And maybe even with the Ten of Wands that I was like explaining in the beginning of the reading, like that would be the risk too of being in a commitment or going all in is that there could be a chance of heartbreak that someone just wouldn't be ready for. Maybe that's the whole thing. They're afraid you're going to break their heart. So that's why they haven't been making those moves. But then be prepared for what happens when you don't try. What happens when you don't take those steps? If nothing's going to happen, that would be 100% sure. Then trying and, you know, having that higher chance of it actually happening, right? They're afraid you're going to break their heart, you particularly. Maybe because they do feel that this could be something solid, but their ego, their mind, their fear plays into these situations of, or, you know, those visuals of you not this just not working out or you not feeling it or whatever right damn all right capricorn to see the likely outcome of the situation what's likely to happen unfold in this connection what do you need to know about this person and this connection for your greater understanding we're gonna go ahead and take this to vimeo for the extended reading i'm going to overturn this card here to see the likely outcome of this situation but i'm also going to pull some oracle cards that dive deep into this connection see out of this outcome, what is likely to unfold? What is Spirit's plan for you guys? Why did you meet? Try to answer all those questions. So if you'd like to join me there, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. 
But if this is where we depart, Capricorn, I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way. It's given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.